Hello, this is Sam Kennedy of VCU Technology Services. Today I am with Pam McGee of Email Services, which is a VCU Technology Services group here at the Technology Administration Building. And we're going to talk about Lotus Notes Traveler, which is a service that's been available for a while, but it's got some new devices that it's becoming available on recently and in the future. Um, so Pam, tell us a little bit about Lotus Notes Traveler. Lotus Notes Traveler is an application available for Apple devices, Windows mobile devices that allows um, wireless synchronization with your mail, your calendar, and your address book. Okay, great. So in the past, it's been available on um, Windows Mobile 5 and, and 6.5. 6 now, recently, Lotus Notes was made available for the Apple devices, the iPad, the iPhone, and the iPod Touch. Um, and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today, right? Right. Okay. We're going to uh, demonstrate how you can install Traveler on an iPad. Okay, great. And um, before we get to that, um, other devices that it's available on, it's not available for BlackBerry because if you're going to do BlackBerry, you can configure IMAP if you just want your email, if you want your calendar and your contacts, you have to have enterprise service on the device. Right. And also, um, we add you to the BlackBerry server. There's a hundred dollar fee. Right. It's a seventy-five dollar license fee and a twenty-five dollar annual fee. Okay. That needs to be paid. Um, Android is not available yet for Traveler, right? That is correct. Okay. There, hope within the next six months to have that available for the Droid devices. All right. Well, cool. All right. So right now it's available for Windows Mobile. 5 and 6 and 6.5 and then the iPhone, iPod, iPod Touch, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Well, let's go ahead and go ahead and take a look at this uh, on the uh, iPad and show how, how we set it up. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take a look on how to set this up on an iPad, right? That's correct. All right, I guess the first most important step is that they are on a network, whether it be Wi-Fi, like the university's Wi-Fi or their home Wi-Fi or something like that, or the 3G. That's correct. All right, then, Pam, won't you go ahead and show us how to do it and walk us through the steps? Okay. One an, another important step before you download Traveler and install is if you currently have an IMAP connection for mm. your university account on the device that needs to be removed before okay. you configure Traveler. Okay, and if they don't know how to do that, they should contact the VCU Help It Center to to do that help them walk through the the process of removing that right that's correct okay and the help at center is available online at go.vcu.edu slash help it or they can call at 804-828-2227 correct or they can send an email at help at vcu dot edu dr notes or they dr -N -O -T -E -S notes at right. vcu dot edu okay so let's go ahead and get started then okay um one additional thing the configuration instructions for all of the mobile devices is located on the technology mm. services website knowledge base mm -hmm. go dot vcu dot edu forward slash mobile email all right and that'll take them to the, the the top level page there. that's correct all right and the address for the download is http colon two forward slashes willow w i l l o w forward slash traveler all right You want to choose the option to configure your Apple iPod iPhone Touch. If it prompts for an EID and EID password to authenticate to the Traveler server, again, it's your university EID and EID password. At the Generate an Apple Profile page, login name, remove the at vcu.edu if that's included. On the login name, but not the, the mail address, right? Correct. Okay. On the login name, mail address stays the same. And choose the option to generate. Choose the option to install. Install now. It's asking for the password for the exchange account, which is your university EID password.
click next and done and it's that easy Wow back on the main screen we select mail as soon as it updates There it is. So it's already, because you're right. right now, and there's just no messages in this Right, no this messages. Email. You should send yourself some mail. I, I should. <laughs> <laughs> now, there were messages. So there's, there's the calendar. calendar. And contacts would be? Contacts are? There we go. These are the contacts. All right. So that's pretty much it. That's it. It's pretty easy install when you get it down is. to it. Pretty straightforward. And again, the configuration instructions for all of the mobile devices are listed on go.bcu.edu forward slash mobile email. All right. If you have multiple accounts on the on the device um, and you're wanting to make sure you send from your VCU one, you should either make that the default or just be aware when, you, when you're writing your email. Sometimes I've sent from personal accounts when I wanted to send from my VCU email account. Right. And that would be under the settings. Right. Mail and contacts. And default account. And on this one, the Oak. Right. It one is, is the default account. All right. right. Well, outstanding. Another important piece, once you have configured your university email on any mobile device, we recommend that you set a password for the device. Right. Right. So that when you the device turns itself off for whatever reason or you turn it off, when you go back in, you have to do a password, a password to get to in. Re -enter. Okay, well, Pam, thank you very much for showing us that uh, process of setting up your Lotus Notes Traveler on an iOS device. Um, I know it's a little bit different for iPhones and iPod Touches. Um, I think you guys are planning on putting together uh, some videos for those devices as well? That's correct. All right, so they should be looking for that on the uh, VCU Technology Services uh, blog. Uh, we'll announce it. We'll announce it over Twitter and any other way we can. Probably Telegram as well, I would imagine. All right. Anything else you can think we need to cover before we go? I think that's it. All thank right. you very much. Well, thank you very much, and you take care. Okay. Thanks, everybody.